All right, I'd like to explain a little bit about uh, ring and pinion pattern change, uh, what backlash does, and what uh, pinion depth does. Now, the ideal pattern, a centered root to top on the drive side and the coast side, and about a third on the inside, okay? When you put the pressure on, that pattern is going to crawl right up the tooth like this. You don't want it to start in the middle because it's going to crawl all the way off the side. Now, when you're setting up your ring and pinion, they'll show you all kinds of different patterns and they'll try and tell you which way to move it depending on what pattern you got. I want you to explain how the pattern moves in relationship to each. So let's say you've got your pinion depth too tight. Okay, now this is all holding backlash, say uh, six to ten thousandths. If you're in too far, you're going to see a pattern like this. You're going to just see that, just see the corner of this tooth wiping. Okay, that's the drive side, and you're be on the inside of the root. You're just in too deep. You'll see the opposite pattern out here on the coast side. Now, as you pull that pinion out to the more of the correct depth, that pattern will move along. It kind of moves on a line going to the opposite corner. And then this, you'll see this pattern do the same thing, only it's heading for this corner. So eventually, you pull out from too deep to say 60 thousandths out too far, you'll get a reverse image. You'll have your pattern up in this corner on the drive side, and down on this corner, on your coast side. So I've drawn a straight line, but what you really see as this pattern moves, because it's spread out, it actually kind of comes in almost like an S curve. All right. And when you're, when you're obviously too far out, or pardon me, too far in or too far out, then you know to move it in the middle. When you're in this middle zone, it's kind of hard to see what's going on. So, again, we're keeping the backlash at that 6 to 10 range. If your pinion is in too deep, looking just to the drive side, you're going to see this corner pattern. And on the coast side, you're going to see the opposite corner. As you pull the pinion out, those two patterns move, eventually center up. And as you keep going, they're going to reverse themselves. So, it's pretty simple. If it's on the inside, move it out. If it's on the outside, move it in. That's on the drive side of the tooth. Now what does backlash do? Once you've got your pinion depth correct uh, and you're in the middle, now you have to play with backlash. Backlash just simply moves, if it's too tight, it moves the patterns together to the inside. If it's too loose, the patterns move to the outside. You're not going to see much of this. So keep your backlash where it belongs, adjust your pinion till your patterns are right. Now you can get some weird stuff where you'll see the pattern on one side is good and it'll just stay there while you move it the other way. I can't explain that one, that's just the way the cutters have made it or the way the gear is worn. So you may have to play a little bit to get it where you want it. Um, I guess that's it. This is pinion depth. This is backlash. Have a good have a good day.